My name is Tarmac, and this is your Game Industry News Wrap-Up for the week of March 26, 2016. A fair use controversy sprung up after a blog post by the developers of the game That Dragon Cancer. The devs had innocently enough entered the music tracks by John Hillman into YouTube's Content ID auto-matching system in an effort to let him financially benefit if people used his music. Unfortunately, as is often the case, this resulted in automated claims against game footage, which put Let's Players at odds with the game developer. It's worth noting that the devs aren't being heavy-handed, but rather just expressing concerns that Let's Plays are harming sales of their game. I have to echo comments of those who came before me that unfortunately, if watching your game being played is enough to make someone not buy it, that really is a flaw in the design of the game itself. On the other hand, as much as I like to pretend that I believe that Let's Plays are fair use, I don't know that this is true, and it would be nice if YouTubers were a bit more considerate, especially to smaller indie devs who can potentially be genuinely harmed by their actions. In a similar vein, developers of the VR experience Racecraft have come out swinging against scammers pretending to be YouTubers and streamers looking for free copies of video games. Apparently, 99% of the requests that they're getting are impersonations. But now it makes sense why it takes so long for PR Context to actually get back to me when I asked for code. Damn scammers flooding the inbox and ruining it for everybody else. And, not to beat the dead horse too much, but the Dark Souls 3 community has been figuratively aflame with a number of issues that have some gamers playing the title early. Notable streamers and YouTubers were provided access, but from a press standpoint, that part makes sense. Outside of that, PS4 players have been able to buy the Japanese version, which launched on March 24th, ahead of the April 12th North American launch date. And people also discovered that if you bought the game on Xbox One, it came with the English subtitles from the Japanese release. So of course, since these are intentional face laps done by From Software and Bandai Namco, there are a ton of Dark Souls 3 enthusiasts who are screaming for a boycott of the game. If even one of them follows through, I'll be surprised. Roller Coaster Tycoon World has been delayed yet again, and to make matters worse, they've swapped over to an early access funding structure for a game already mired in controversy and disappointment. It was really cute to see how they tried to explain that going early access is so that they can get more community feedback. That marketing lingo. According to a trailer posted by HCS Voice Packs on YouTube, Elite Dangerous will on April the 8th, Friday, receive a William Shatner voice pack. It is available for pre-order now with a cost of £9.99. I'm sorry, I can't finish it. HCS Voice Packs has released quite a few voice packs so far, and honestly, a Shatner voice setup for Elite Dangerous makes a great deal of sense. I tried, folks. I tried. Capcom is releasing the March update in two parts for Street Fighter V on the 28th and 30th. It includes a challenge mode with tutorials and combo trials, an online rematch option just in case that last loss wasn't enough for you, improvements to the battle lounge and a number of bug fixes on the 28th, and has the character Alex and the real money shop on the 30th. Yay, it still doesn't live up to that single player tag that the game has on the Steam front page. Hitman The Episodic Wonder has an interesting issue with its save games, and from the sounds of things, IO Interactive is actively choosing to leave the issue as is in order to support the live game that they're pushing. Essentially, online and offline save states are not compatible with one another, so if you're playing online and your connection drops for some reason, many Hitman owners are reporting being dumped to the main menu while in the middle of a mission. On the plus side, the more issues the game has, the less likely other companies are to follow the business model after this one flops because gamers stop buying the updates out of frustration. This has been your Game Industry News Wrap-Up for the week of March 26, 2016. I'm Tarmac. Thanks for watching.